And although most of Ronald's music is conventional keyboard music in the sense that you play it from the keyboard in the normal fashion, um, there are a few, shall we say, more, I wouldn't say experimental techniques, but um, more sort of distinctive 20th century techniques. Um, when we play the piano, um, a lot of the sound we actually hear the sympathetic vibrations of the strings that we haven't struck. Um, in other words, it produces this sort of nice tonal fog of sound you get with the piano sometimes is produced by that, not by the strings you strike. So um, the opening of Ronald's heroic song for Hugh McDermott tries to exploit this effect by actually asking the player um, to put silently down his entire arm um, and raise all the dampers of the lower part of the keyboard, the white key. So you put your arm down like that, um, and then you play this scotch pentatonic tune in the notes above. And the ringing sound that this creates, uh, which Ronald thought was like sort of scotch mist, like mountain, mountain fog or mist, is really, really astonishingly loud. Because remember, these are the notes I haven't played. And here's the, here's the effect. So your arm goes down there. It almost interest the audience, shall we say, and, and then this. And you can hear that's really astonishingly loud. Um, this sort of mist of sound. And the amazing thing is that that's just the sympathetic, the sympathetic vibrations of the notes I have played moving the strings that I haven't played. Um, and it's a, of course, the piece ends with this effect as well. Um, and it's a sort of, it almost tickles me slightly. I mean, it's, it's not a difficult effect to create, but it's a rather imaginative one, and it seems to stick in audiences' minds. And another effect, another effect, of course, that we sometimes have it, it, that Ronald usually likes to use sometimes towards the end of, of a piece of music. It, it happens in this CD on the Peter Grimes fantasy, the fantasy on Benjamin Britten's Peter Grimes, and also at the end of a Scottish piece called Beltane Bonfire, um, which is based around, I'm not saying Scottish themes because they're original themes by Ronald, but Scottish style themes. It's a Celtic piece. And so at the end, he tries to imitate the classic or the, the Scots harp. Um, and you, to do that, you pluck the strings. You don't play them with the keyboard, you pluck them. Um, now, of course, the piano really is like a huge harp turned on its side. If you look inside a piano, that's what it looks like. It looks like a harp. But people sometimes say, well, you have all these dozens of notes. How do you know what notes to play when you're plucking it? Because you have to stand up, of course. And it is quite interesting if, if I stand up. Um, and I raise the dampers of the notes that I want to play, but without playing them, I raise the dampers in by, with my left hand, then I can see which dampers are raised, and so I can start plucking the strings with my right hand, and I can either pluck the strings um, with, with, my, with the flesh of my finger or with the, the nail, and I will get a louder sound with the nail. So, I mean, if, if, I, start, if I start sort of plucking it with the flesh, I will get this sort of sound. this sort of rather lovely harp effect. And with the nail, I get a much louder sound. But it's a completely different change of tone color. And uh, in, in, in one piece, in the Beltane Bonfire piece, it, it, it sounds sort of rather um, nostalgic, shall we say. Um, and uh, it's rather surprising, rather surprising both times. And in the fantasy on Britain's Peter Grimes, it sounds lonely, like a sort of distant voice from, from far away, um, a sort of lonely single voice. So it can have different effects. Uh, but provided you don't overuse it, and, and Ronald only uses these sorts of things very rarely, it suddenly produces a significant impact and usually takes the audience by surprise, actually. And e even, I mean, one or two people have heard the CD, have even been surprised even hearing it on the CD. But the whole point of these effects is that they should say something 
they shouldn't just be gimmicks because you can do anything with them. You can start hitting the strings with all sorts of things, you know, but it, it should have an emotional, expressive reason.